Hello everyone, I'm Justin Mott, I'm a photographer and I'm here today to talk to you people out there. This is mainly for photographers, or some of this applies to freelancers in general, but really towards professional photographers or, or amateurs who, who maybe just made the jump to professionals. Uh, during, this, during this pandemic, everyone's stuck at home and a lot of my friends, a lot of young photographers are asking me, you know, how, how do you stay busy during this time? How do you stay productive? This is a hard time for people uh, in our industry, a hard time for everyone, but just I'm going to focus today on our industry and particularly photography. Um, I am a documentary photographer, assignment photographer, and a, I own a production company, but this kind of relates to all genres of photography. So I've got a little list here because I'm not good at remembering things. I'm going to go through some of these things you're not going to want to hear. Uh, and some of them I think are, you know, are quite good ways for you to stay productive during these times. So during quarantine, I'm here at home here in Hanoi, and I've been staying quite busy now for a while. Uh, every day I've got something to do, I've got a list of things to do, I'm staying productive. Tough time to make money obviously because you can't go out there and shoot, but it's a, it's a good time to get things done that you've been putting off. So the first thing and the reason I, I, I wanted to even do this blog or this uh, vlog I guess is because I, I saw even a week after quarantine, a week after people weren't, be able, weren't able to get assignments, they were already sort of complaining about money and, and worried about jobs and that, that's a normal feeling, I understand it, but uh, first tip I want to give you, and you, you probably don't want to hear this for people who are, who are suffering and maybe some of you watching this are the ones who are suffering financially, is listen, any, any freelancer, uh, any person in general should always put away three months of expenses. That's sort of textbook. Uh, financial planning, <laughs> financial planning 101. So it's really important to, to put aside a few months. Most people should put aside six months or two a year. I know it's hard if you're a freelancer, but you know, an extra camera here and there, an extra lens here and there. Honestly, this is why you put it aside. We can't all plan for a pandemic, but you could get injured. You could have, uh, you could get sick. There's a lot of different things. Could be a change in just uh, the industry that you're in. So. You know, first things first. I, again, I know you don't want to hear it, and people are going to oh, laugh and scoff on this, but but everyone will tell you this. Anyone that has a, a nine to five job, and we they actually have their company that can support them. We don't have anybody. We're on our own here. So three months of expenses, boom, put aside, put that into savings. If you're in your twenties, that might be hard, but really, you know, while you get into your thirties and forties and fifties, no excuse to not have that. I mean, you should have a savings. You should have that put aside for a rainy day for times like this. So while you might not have done it now, and you might be saying, well, yeah, what good does that do me now? Listen, this isn't this this could rebound in a few months, but you could get injured a year from now or two years from now and get sick. So, you know, start to plan now. Use this time to plan if you didn't put away money. Use this time to plan how you can once you things rebound and your business starts going again. Make a point, make an effort, make a plan, more importantly, on, on uh, putting aside money. For the three months minimum. Honestly, three months is really nothing. You should plan for six months to a year. All right, that's the first thing. So enough of the money shaming. Uh, a couple other things I've been doing here. I've been sitting at my desk for hours. I've been going through my website, um, paying attention to the flow of the images, how one image goes to the next, paying attention to my galleries, labeling, uh, grammar mistakes, things like that. Now's a great time to just quality control of your website. Go through everything you have in there. Uh, you know, first do all your grammar, then do all your, um, you know, your about page, your contact page, just update everything, make sure everything links properly, check all your links, check all your articles, your text, everything. And then go through your work and, and really, I would say now, use this time to check out the flow, what kind of image you want to open with, what are you trying to say about yourself as a photographer, what images and style of images you want to put forward in the beginning of your website. Think about like, yeah, how one image flows to the next. Be critical of your old work. Now's the time to, you know, it's, it's easy to, to want to love the work that you did at a certain time in your life, maybe the beginning of your career, keep that in, but you might have outgrown that work. You might have gotten a lot better. You might have changed sort of the style of your work or, or the kind of jobs you get. So be honest with yourself, share with some other friends who are photographers and see what they're, you know, maybe share with them. You can, you can do an edit of their website. They can do an edit of yours, not just for flow, but overall images. And now's a good time to sort of Clean out all those images that you think you, you've outgrown. Uh, be honest with yourself, uh, you know, how those images stack up to what you have. Go through some of your new stuff, go back through some of your old stuff. This is time, we have time now. So go through go through your work, see what you have, what you don't have, and, and be honest with yourself and a good edit. I've seen some great photographers that I know personally have horrible edits on their website. I've helped some, uh, some don't ask, so I'm not gonna critique them, but uh, and, I, and I know some people who, who don't have that great of a, a 
a huge body of work going on in their careers, but a tight, nice edit can make their site look really good, and then they can grow in and see see what they're missing. That's another thing about doing that of your website is you can kind of see what what kind of holes are there. Maybe you're not strong in lit portraits, or maybe you're not strong in portraits in general, or you don't have enough travel, but you want to get travel work. So. Do a deep dive into your website, see what's good, see what's not, be honest with yourself, give a great edit, and then ask for people for help. Um, another thing you can do during this time is sort of an SEO deep dive. There's a lot of great resources online. I'll put some links in there, what I've used. You know, go in, make sure, I used to have on my site a lot of different genres of photography. Now I've separated all my sites, so I made sure that on my, my main website, justinmott.com, with my uh, sort of wildlife and conservation photography that I have that I have SEO that reflects that. So I've put that in, I've changed all my images, I use Squarespace, so, so each thumbnail is different. Uh, I've changed, gone in and changed the names of each, each page that links to a certain image to reflect the kind of work and the kind of jobs I want to get. It takes a lot of time, it's tedious, but again, now's the time to do these things. Uh, another good thing to do during this time is clean your equipment, you know, get your stuff out of your drive box, wherever you keep it. For us in Asia, we keep all of our stuff in drive box. Clean your drive box out. Um, clean your lenses, you know, blow out your sensors, learn how to do all this stuff before you dive into it, but you know, YouTube's a great resource for that stuff, so just learn how to do that if you don't know how already. Label your equipment is important, you know, I just put little marks on different, my lens caps, my batteries, um, all that stuff. Keep keeping, uh, you can put tape on it if you don't want to, if you don't want to write on your stuff and then draw on the tape. Gaffer tape sticks really well, but you know, sometimes you're hanging out with friends, sometimes you're, you're letting people borrow equipment, it's just it's just sloppy, you know, whose batteries, whose, and that kind of stuff. Label all your equipment, take this time to do that stuff, boring work, but again, this is good good stuff to keep busy and, and good overall for your business. Um, for you assignment photographers out there, commercial photographers or, or wedding photographers, uh, wedding might be tough this time, but it's a good time to, to, to chase down payments, you don't have to be a jerk about it, but people have owed you money for a long time. You know, no one wants to pay up to in sense, but you did the work. They're usually big, we're small, so follow up emails with them, ask about your payments, see where they are, make sure you didn't miss any payments. And a lot of times, if you're a busy photographer, you, you might have missed a couple payments, or you might have forgot that someone owes you something, or you might have thought they paid. So look into that, keep a record of everything, get your accounting organized, a good time to do that, and you know, a good way to make some money because you might have missed a payment here and there. Um, Let's see, uh, for, for you photographers out there that have a collection of work or personal projects, now's a good time to put those into nice collections, put them into galleries and pitch them to, to editors. You know, for me it could be a, a selection of images from, from Vietnam that I could make into sort of one theme, maybe about Hanoi, maybe traveling in Hanoi. A lot of photographers, you've got years of work, so put it into a collection, pitch it with maybe a, a small summary or a little bit of a write-up. A lot of travel magazines right now might not have big budgets, but they're not sending photographers around on assignments so much, so they need content as well. So, you know, make a nice little package, make it easy for the editor, uh, have a good price in mind. A lot of them already have a, a you know, predetermined price, but now's a good time to do things like that. That's another way, another source of making in income. Make these collections of images. If you had a personal project that you're finishing up, you know, make that edit, caption it, uh, put it in a nice PDF or link to your website. And pitch it. You know, a lot of magazines, they, they still have online subscriptions, they're still making a little bit of money, so pitch these stories, everyone needs content, so look at look at different markets, who needs content, and, and what content, and see what you have, and go through your archive, and you can reposition things. Uh, now's also a good time to go through your archive, get that organized, uh, your labeling system, your online system, your backup system. Now's a good time to come up with the way that you label your files, the way that you back up your files, you should always have them in at least at least two hard drives, at least two different locations. I would say, you know, what I do is two different physical locations and then another set in the cloud somewhere. I use Dropbox, use whatever suits your budget and what you like. Um, and now's also a good time for, for your brain a little bit to think creatively. Think about a project that you've, you've always wanted to do, that maybe you've put off, you haven't had time to, you've been lazy or you've been busy. Either one of those things, you know, life gets in the way, now life isn't in the way, it's at a standstill. So. Think about a project that you, you want to embark on that you you could start to plan now. You know, people may be a little more responsive to email. So for me, last year around this time, I planned my, my big project, Kindred Guardians, my personal project, photographing people around the world who, who help animals. And, you know, it, it took planning. It took a month of, of slow business to sort of come up with a plan, not just in, in the research of the, the people you want to photograph, but how you want to photograph it. Um, how the story is going to come together, what's the output, you're going to have a gallery in the end, a book in the end, both, 
Uh, but now's a good time to actually just you know think, sit at home, put some music on, uh, whatever whatever mood you like or, or environment you like to think, but give some thought into a project you wanted to do, give a deep dive into it, talk to some friends about it. It's a good time for photographers to be sharing sharing project ideas, um, you know, video chat, do that, have a little discussion, but really plan. I mean, because when, when we come out of this, we're going to have, yeah, we'll be able to travel again, who knows, a few months from now or a month from now, but it's not like the work's just going to come rolling in. You're going to have time where, where businesses and, and clients and, and editors in general, they're not going to have budget for these things. So we're going to come out, it's going to be able to travel, but you, you're not going to have maybe have work so now's the time to maybe start that project that you can get out around in, in nearby so find something that you can sharpen your skills uh find a project you're interested in, but maybe something you could walk to maybe your own city uh, just something you've been putting off and, and try to make it with coupled with something that you you want to work on as yourself as a photographer um now's also a great time to do things like i'm doing here i hope you enjoy this but to create create content whether it be if you like to write if you want to start a podcast a million people doing a podcast, but you know, now's the time to experiment with that stuff. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Maybe this will work, maybe it won't. Um, but you know, now's the time to create content and all that content and all those hashtags. It all feeds to your personal brand as a photographer. So now's a great time to do a deep dive in into marketing. And the best way you can you can get traffic to your website and to your blog is to create content. So use this time now to, to work on that. Um, Another thing is, now is a great, I keep saying great, 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 sorry, now, now is a fantastic time for grants. There's a ton of grants out there and they all need to be claimed and there's a lot of money out there in grants. It could be the National Geographic Society, uh, it could be, you know, U.S. government, your, wherever country you live in, your government might have grants. Now's the time to, to research, you know, couple that with a project you wanted to do, see if anything relates to that project, research grants, apply for grants. Um, yeah, see what your project matches up with and now's a great time to do that. There's money in grants and some of that money is still there, it hasn't gone anywhere. So use that time to apply for those grants, those things you've been procrastinating on. Um, now's the time to do it. Um, another thing you could do might be, you know, just rewarding for yourself is, you know, how can your images, uh, your library of images, how can, how can they help anything happening now, uh, what's going on in the world, maybe it's a, you know, something you could do positive for society. I know it's hard economically, but you, your images have value and, you know, maybe you could donate them to an auction for people that, that need, of course we need money as well, but there are people in, in more need than, than we are. So, you know, you could donate your images to, for auction for, for example, what I'm doing now is for, uh, you know, animal welfare, animal charities, or it could be just using your images to raise awareness to a certain cause. You might have images that are backlog from a certain area, you know, that, that's being really stressed by, I mean, we're all being stressed by this, but, you know, you, you think about a, a positive way you can use your images for charitable purposes. It's, it's rewarding for yourself and it helps people overall. So now's, now's a good time to look into your work and contact those NGOs that maybe you've worked with, see how you can help. You know, maybe they have a message they want to get out and it's as simple as you just, just helping them get that message on your social media. But, you know, use that time, it's rewarding and I think it's important for us all to, to stay positive during these times. So another thing you could do is, is uh, you know, Dedicate your time or, or uh, donate your time, I guess, to educational purposes. Now, is uh, a lot of schools are working remotely, universities, colleges, uh, same thing. Universities, uh, uh, primary school, uh, high school, things like that. I mean, I think it would be great for them to have a, a guest speaker come on. So maybe it's your your old university or your old high school, whatever, or even uh, you know, photography educational service like Leica Academy or B and H or something like that. Donate your time, or if it's just putting something out a little lesson on your social media, it relates to the creating content. You know, now's a good time to to get some educational uh, material out there. So yeah, whether it's you creating it yourself, if you don't like to do that, I encourage you to learn. But if you're not comfortable with that, reach out to people, see what they need. I think schools would love a guest speaker. It's a way for you to share your work and share your story, and for you to keep active and keep busy, which is really healthy for the mind, body, and soul. <laughs> Um, a couple other things, just updating your, um, your bio, uh, make sure it reflects wh where you're at currently, if you've won some new awards, if you've had some new clients, use the time to update that, that's all important stuff that maybe you've put off through the course of a few years. Um, uh, update your bio and, and your, your portfolio on different websites, you know, I work with a couple different agencies, so I make sure I get my, my new work with those agencies, and new work with a gallery that sells my images, uh, now's the time to try to sell prints, that's a tough market, but you know, update your work, let them know what you're doing. And the last thing I'm going to say is is to uh, 
now's a good time. Well, two two more things. Now's a good time to, to learn learn something new too. So that could be, you know, you know, learning about uh, a lighting system at home. Something at home, technical. Could be learning retouching. Uh, you know, we'll should know a little bit about retouching, but maybe you want to go do a deep dive in Photoshop and learn some new tricks in Lightroom. So, so there's a ton of educational videos out there. I don't have anything like that, but go online, go on YouTube. There's tons of stuff out there. You know, dedicate your time, learn a, learn a new skill. There's a lot of university programs out there, uh, free classes, or you could go into, I forget, some, uh, lynda.com. They have different classes you can pay for. Maybe they have offers right now for free classes or cheap classes, but you know, use this time to learn, go back to school. You might get another chance to do that. And that's the last. The last thing I would say is 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 um, you know redesign your newsletter, get that out there, update your um, update your newsletter with uh, maybe it's the design, but information on what you're doing, so that your people have you in mind when you're when you're ready to work again, they're ready to hire again, they remember you, remember who you are. So you know have newsletters going as often as you can. Don't go too crazy with it. People won't subscribe, but have your new content out there. Get it ready so you're ready and they're ready when the time comes when all this ends you're ready to work again. So that's it guys, I just want to give some tips. Uh, hopefully you found some of these helpful. This is a little bit long, I'm sorry, but I like to yap and I'm bored. So <laughs> uh, thank you so much for your time and for listening and stay healthy and stay safe. Bye.